The question has been asked of me, what would we propose to the world leaders to do in 2008 to make the world a better place? Well, for me the answer is a very simple one. We should realize the potential of regenerative medicine, specifically the potential of the body's own stem cells to heal the body and start developing economically reasonable methods to allow these kind of therapeutics to be available on a widespread basis. What am I talking about? Specifically, the body, the human body, like the salamander, has the potential to regenerate different parts of the organ and different damaged tissue. For example, we know the salamander, if you cut off a limb, the limb can regenerate itself. Of course, in the human, the regenerative potential is not that big. However, we do know that regeneration occurs. Specifically, after a patient has a heart attack, it has been documented by numerous scientists that bone marrow-derived stem cells leave the bone marrow and go into the damaged heart tissue to try to heal it. The same thing can be said of stroke, where people have documented bone marrow-derived stem cells leaving the bone in patients who've had a stroke and going into the brain and assisting in regeneration. So then the question came up, what if you take somebody's own bone marrow cells and inject them at high concentrations in the blood so that they can go to the area of damaged tissue? And this kind of therapeutic approach has worked in many, many clinical trials. In clinical trials with people with heart attacks, there has been a recent publication of 999 patients who were analyzed who were treated with their own bone marrow cells after a heart attack and they had an improvement in cardiac function. The same can be said of people who have peripheral artery disease, who have liver disease, and also who have various types of lung disease. So now the question is, if we know that these kind of therapeutic approaches can actually help the body to regenerate itself, why is this not available everywhere? And the reason why it's not is very simple. There is no proper business development, no proper economic uh, framework for these therapies to be widely applicable. Specifically what I mean is when a company makes a medicine, there's a patent on the medicine, and then the company has exclusivity, and because of that exclusivity, there's an economic scenario where the investors can have a return on their investments. In bone marrow stem cell cellular therapeutics, if you discover that the bone marrow cells are useful for the heart, which a lot of people have evidence for, how does one develop this into a therapy where there can be return on investment? In many parts of the world, you can't patent medical procedures, and in the parts that you can, the patents do not, it's very difficult to enforce them. Uh, the other very uh, the difficult scenario is that to develop a cell therapy for widespread use so that any hospital can get it, you have to go through the regulatory agencies such as FDA in the US or the EMEA in Europe. And these regulatory agencies have not developed yet the proper framework for autologous therapeutics. In many situations you need to show uh, the same kind of data that uh, for treating a no-option patient with heart failure with his own stem cells, you need to show the same kind of data as if you would if you just developed a brand new chemical entity and you're trying it in healthy volunteers, which makes no sense. So what we are proposing as a very important thing for the world leaders at the Economic Forum to think about is, number one, to realize the great scientific advances that have been going on with autologous, with your own bone marrow derived adult stem cells, and number two, to work together to set up economic scenarios where these therapeutics can be widely applicable. Thank you very much.